Well, it's not the U part three, but Catholics versus convicts showcases the rivalry between the Miami Hurricanes and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Steve, we see in the film that for the Irish, this rivalry really started in 1985 when Miami ran up the score on Notre Dame in Jerry Faust's final game as the head coach of the Irish. Did Notre Dame take this one a little too personally, Steve? Well, you know, you look back and, and all the, the thumpings that Notre Dame put on different people over the over their many years of great tradition in football. And and I think just have it put it back on them, I think was a little bit bitter. And I, I actually was on that team. And the reality was we were going to run our offense. We had great athletes and we, and we just had, a, we had better athletes than them at the time. But that that certainly lit it off, obviously, with with Jerry Faust and, and you know, his regime kind of coming to an end. Uh, and that was that was certainly the uh, the cherry on top, uh, and it certainly started the rivalry. All right. So the film culminates with the game in 1988, where a failed two point conversion cost Miami the game. What were the immediate and the long term ripple effects from that one game? Well, I think obviously that victory, you know, was a. a the launching point for Notre Dame that rest of that season, they went on undefeated and, and won their, their national championship. Ironically, it was the last national championship they had won, um, you know, to date. But I think that game, um, I think featured, you know, great athletes on both sides of the, um, the, the field, both, both teams. And, um, you know, I think the, the ripple effect was, that the rivalry was coming to uh, a very uh, pointed end. Uh, I think they ended up playing two more times, and then they, they called it off for a while. But um, that certainly was, you know, a lot. There's a lot of storylines behind that game. Of course, a Notre Dame student was the brainchild behind the T-shirt, which coined the phrase "Catholics versus." convicts obviously the convicts were you and your fellow hurricane teammates not you specifically but the hurricanes in general what impact did that t-shirt have well you know first of all I, i'm a catholic from st paul minnesota so i i didn't i wasn't quite sure who they were talking about so but uh you know honestly you know we had come out of you know an 86 season where we had a lot of off-field problems at miami and then we go out to the fiesta bowl and lose to penn state come back and win a national championship and really the the program had really turned you know we we really had we had great student athletes and you know but we still had this kind of thug uh mentality i guess that would really be the beginning of the swagger of the u and when we saw that t-shirt or we heard about the t-shirt that was just another thing to get us fired up so you know it wasn't anything that we took personal because it was just something that hey it's, it's us against the world type of mentality Steve, we see a moment in the film where a Notre Dame player is retelling a story about how Lou Holtz is giving his team this big rah-rah pep speech, you know, before that game in 88. And he said, listen, you want to fight these guys after the game, you fight them in the parking lot, but you save Jimmy Johnson for me. When you watch that for the first time, what went through your mind? Well, you know, Jimmy loved the fight game. I and mean, we used to bring, you know, uh, heavyweight champs and, uh, you know, uh, the, the middleweight champs out, uh, Evander Holyfield and things like that, out to our practice. So he, I'm sure Jimmy had a few uh, combination punches. I think uh, Holtz would have uh, bitten off a little bit too much. But it's it's funny because these relationships that coaches have, and the great fraternity uh, that coaches have, it, there's, there's relationships that cross paths in so many ways. Steve Walsh, a national champion quarterback for the Miami Hurricanes. Pleasure to talk with you, Steve, and congrats uh, being part of this new 30 for 30 Catholics versus convicts. It was fun to watch. Yeah, thank you so much.